If the Keyblade is not effective. Hey, Jarvis. Open the mask. Hey, Jarvis. Close the mask. Once you get to this part, you just tell the ghost or whatever's in your vent. You just stare directly at it and just say, hey, Jarvis, start combat mode. Hey, guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, Metro. All right, this is part two of the 66 videos. So this is going to be a total of six parts. And I just got a few snacks on me. Basically, I have this snack right here. Not sure how many of you guys are rock fans out there in the world, but this is a snack made by Metallica. So if you're a Metallica fan, this is what I'm enjoying. It's called Blackened, which is basically named after their whiskey company. And the other snack I have next to me is a Reese's the Reese's cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. I may eat it during the video. If I do mind your fucking business. If I don't mind your fucking business. Once I'm done with this little series of watching 11 at a time, but now I'm at 55, I'm going to stop at 45. That's basically 11. It sounds like it's only 10, but think about the math. 55, 54, Three, two, one, zero, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So 55 to 45 are 11 stories. The following video is going to be 44 to 34 and 33 to 23 and 21 to 11 and 11 to one. Let's stop the inevitable. Let's get back to these 11 stories. In May of 2012, a man filmed in the woods behind his house for five minutes because there was an energy there. Which I Energy? suppose means that he wanted to capture ghosts on camera. Okay. He had seen a ghost girl in this area several times, but had never filmed her. Luckily for him, he managed to catch her on camera this time around. Mm. Take a look at the video and make sure to look at the left side of the video. At level 9000. Why am I being a bitch the first story? Oh. Let's take another look enhanced. Like a half a second. Or for like a half a second. He claims that the camera failed right after the ghost sighting, which of course seems suspicious. But if he were to hoax it, why would he then cut the video right after the alleged ghost appears? He could have just kept filming after the sighting. That could be a reason why it's real. And that and the fact that it's a very compelling piece of footage that would be hard to fake. <sighs> Firstly, the ghost girl appears behind the tree. Secondly, the camera is moving, which would also make this a lot harder to hoax. Whatever you think, I found this one to be quite eerie. Who knows what happened to this girl since she still wanders the woods. If you're an editor, for those who are watching and do TikToks for a living, YouTube for a living, or even do editing jobs for a living. I know a lot of people who are editors for their you know, life style of revenue to gain to put roof on head and food and stomach and clothes on back. Point is, I'm gonna say a word that yes, the camera is moving, but there's a thing called masking masking to follow objects i'm not gonna do that now because it's whatever but when i do my gaming videos i do a lot of masking when it comes to subtitles when it comes to certain intricate things it's a thing that's easily accessible and you know you go through 
keyframes. You can have a manual masking where, you know, it does it by itself, or you could edit it yourself and do it frame by frame, meaning you just cut, 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 and just move the item or PNG or whatever it is. You can do step by step by step by step. So it's not unheard of. And why would he cut it there? There's so many reasons he could have done it to show more proof. No, all he needed was a half a second so he could post it on Reddit and have it gain traction. Whenever it comes to the spiritual world type of stuff or these videos, they know whoever edit these, whoever do these videos, some of them, again, may be genuine. Some, it's not that hard to fake. I could edit having a shadow go from this side to this side and just have it and then fade. It's not that hard. I mean, for example, this could be the most simplest version to edit. Look at this black shadow, right? Right? See this black shadow? But then you turn the opacity level to a 10. Look how see-through that is. Then slow it gear to zero. See how it just disappears? That's not hard to do. It's just a simple edit. I can make it a hundred and now boom, it's not see-through, but I could take the same shadow, put it to opacity level 20% and now it's see-through. I could put my head in front of it and you can still see me. But then if I have it move, like go, go past me, I could just make it just slowly hit zero and now it's gone. It's possible. The paranormal investigative YouTube channel, Eggman. The Urban Project, is back again right, with mean. yet another creepy video. A video published by the crew on February 29th, 2020, sees them exploring the Brocklehurst Mill, located in England. For Man, a large portion of the video, we can see the crew interacting with one another as they make efforts to capture something on camera. And at about the 20 minute mark, creepy things start to happen. Hmm. At one point in the video, one of the men using a device begins to hear strange sounds radiating from it. Have a listen. Huh? Who's coming? Tom. Who's Tom? That's much reverb. That's just, me, that just fell off the side. Mate. If that wasn't scary enough, several minutes later, while trying to communicate with the spirit, this happens. Sally, are you happy that we're here? Oi. Oi, mate. You happy we're here, mate? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking hell, Mox. Fucking yeah, bollocks, Mox. mate. Okay, goodbye. Mox, just, just get out to the limb room a bit. We need to get out of here, mate. Why is Still it always the object day, close to the nobody edge? Nobody is sure what spirits lurk within the mansion, but one thing is for sure. Whatever was captured on camera this day was definitely creepy. It's always items that are like on the very fucking edge of the damn thing. They're at the fucking edge. But like teetering. All you need is a simple, like off camera, a little, boop, a little, a little pull, and it falls. It's not that hard. It's just mm. and devices that spirits talk through. Do you really need all that reverb? And people would say, oh, you know, it's a device made specifically for hearing ghosts and spirits. You know, it's a totally legit device. Most of those are makeshift. You're telling me I'm supposed to believe someone who made the machine? Because how I've tried to do some research because I actually do wanted to do some real life ghost, you know, adventure stuff. Uh, not the travel channel, you know, show. Don't copyright me, Zach. Um, I'm a big fan, Biggins. Okay, so I'm begging you don't do that to me. 
But besides that, I saw some of the equipment. A lot of these things are pre-programmed. You have to put a software in order to pick certain things up and like not like an AI system. I mean, similar to an AI, because it has to go through a word bank that has to be specifically chosen for whatever for the ghosts you ask a question whatever but there's so many things that are slightly pre-programmed or you could run a program to make it say certain things or do it. there's so many things that could be manipulated where it could be false so that's why i don't really believe in devices i rather believe in more visual things even though that could also be a little bit of skepticism i'm more of a person that i gotta see it to believe it and there's been a few videos where I saw that I'm like, okay, I, all right, I give you that. Most of the time, it's not the case. Reddit is an extremely vast space on the internet, and you're almost always going to find some strange, unsettling, and oftentimes downright terrifying things. True. Look hard enough, like beheadings. After all, there are many thousands of subreddits out there meaning that there are most certainly a plethora of ones that are specifically designed to frighten you. Yeah, One of these I is seen... undoubtedly cursed videos, which oh. is pretty much exactly how it sounds. Yes, it's a I've been through that. It's a dedicated to showcasing videos that are allegedly cursed. Oh, this video, mind. published to the subreddit by user Camelina02, was filmed in what is presumably the uploader's bedroom. He starts off by showing a floor vent, which is pretty common in many households. But it's what's inside that is genuinely terrifying. I know. There's a vet in my room. Oh, there, man. I have a vet in my room. I don't have it on a floor. It's like one of a heating system. What the f At first, the vent looks to be completely empty. But then, just a few seconds later, a mysterious creature appears out of nowhere and seems to twist its head, which audibly freaks out the uploader. Because the video is so short, it's not clear exactly what happened directly following the recording of this footage. But let's just hope that he called in somebody to come in and take a look. And hopefully, it isn't anything sinister. Ugh. You get this. And you just go straight down. In my home, in my vent, you gotta fuck around and find out. Alright, just pretend you're trying to get Excalibur out of the rock. Just all the way in. If it dodges it, if it doesn't affect it, it might be a heartless. So get yourself a keyblade. And then you go after the bitch. Okay? If the keyblade is not effective. Hey Jarvis. Open the mask. Hey Jarvis. Close the mask. Once you get to this part, you just tell the ghost or whatever's in your vent. You just stare directly at it and just say, Hey Jarvis, start combat mode. And that's it. That solves all your problems. Simple as that. See? Problem solved. If the sword doesn't work, Go Kingdom Hearts. The Kingdom Hearts doesn't work. Go Avenger mode. A gym is a place where millions of people go to from all around the world in order to lift weights and well, exercise in order to get into I used shape to go. and gain some muscle. Yeah, There's I used probably to go. one in your local area, and yeah. you may have gone to it yourself in the past or currently go. Gyms are probably one of the last places you'd expect to be haunted, but you'd be wrong. In this video published to my Sir Spook subreddit by user Chaos Magic. Okay, we I? see security oh. camera footage at a local gym, which shows a man walking around the gym, warming himself up before he exercises. Take a look at the background here and see if you notice anything. Just realize the Spanish. All right, let me just go back and try to. I don't, I'm not going to be the best translation. Explícame, and I think that like, explain to me. Que pasaron cosas muy extrañas, la madre. Esto nada más. Esto nada más. Esto nada más. Muy strangely. Mira, explícame eso. Dos cuerdas. Try to explain that to me. 
two things are swinging. Mm. Que vas a ver, mami, la otra quieta, o sea, no podemos decir que es el aire, ni que hay ventilación, ni nada de esas sí, vainas. Sí, eso es como el Y en raro. plena luz del día, ¿quién dice que estas maricas pasan en plena luz del día? No. The lights are flashing. La oh, luz. Okay. La, the light. Fue fruta, fue fruta. Mira, mira. If that wasn't creepy enough, the following events are utterly terrifying. I'm not the best at translation, you, but I understand everything they were saying. Fuel. Take a look at what happens to the man next. Y de esto hay una segunda toma. Ahorita le, le muestro la segunda toma. Y hay cosas que no se ven en la primera. Échale ojo. Ahí. Mira eso. Mira eso. Look, 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 look at it. 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 Look at Ay, Dios mío, ¿qué le pasó? Mamá, no, what happened? No, mi, no, eso no es normal. Sí. That's not normal. Eso no es normal. Sí. That no. is not normal. No, no, tiene que ir, no, eso no es normal. Hay que ir a un sí. eso. Alguien, algo. algún profesional que esté viendo este video o alguien que sepa el tema, por favor, dejarlo en los comentarios o, o no sé, alguien que nos pueda decir qué pasó. Sadly, Sadly, what happened. This video seems to be shrouded in quite a bit of mystery, so it's hard to say exactly what happened after the events of this video and where exactly this gym is located. But that doesn't make it any less chilling to see a man get attacked by an unseen presence at a typical gym that you'd go to in Jesus your hometown. Christ. Next time you go to yours, I would be extra careful if I were you. There better be free membership for ever. I almost turned to a spirit. I was either gonna reside at your gym forever because my dead body and my carcass gonna be there, or just let me work out there for free. Yeah, something inside the place attacked me. I want compensation. I ain't trying to decompose. So to recompose myself, I want free membership. The accents kind of sound Caribbean. Sound like like either like Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico. I don't know, one of the two. I actually understood the Spanish very well. The first oh God, video that UFO. we'll be looking at today was published in the wildly popular UFO subreddit by username StrangeTell8508, who okay. is seemingly convinced that he managed to capture video evidence of aliens existing. The footage in question exist. was shot in Fairbanks, Alaska at 3 in the morning. Throughout the course of the video, we watch as the uploader pans the camera across the starry night sky, where all looks good and fine. However, that doesn't oh. last for too long. At around the one minute mark, something fascinating happens. Take a look. There was another one before I saw this. And it went straight down to the ground over there. So I don't know. Is that what I see in the bottom left? Or was it the moon? Wow. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, it is moving abnormally. Like a split in two. Strangely, the light like object in the sky begins to split into two parts, which shocks the uploader, audibly expressing just how fascinating and eerie the incident is. About a minute or so later, the exact same thing happens once more, causing more shock and awe to set in. Whoa. That's around huh. three. Eventually, this strange light phenomena leaves the area, leaving the uploader and us, the viewer, to wonder what in the world was captured in the footage. Was this a strange UFO floating around Fairbanks, Alaska? Was this something easily explainable that we're all missing? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Mm, but it looks legit. It's recorded and he's moving the camera. Not very stationary. There's so many things as well. Alaska is huge. People tend to forget how huge Alaska is. It's 2.5 times bigger than Texas. If you are a Texan native, you know you live in a huge state. Two and a half Texas could fit in Alaska. Think about that. There could be a lot of operations of like military stuff and trying to examine different things and maybe you know, you see like the damn movies, like Avenger movies, where it's like one plane that house other planes that house, you know, and, and, you know what I'm talking about. The air carriers. You have air carriers in a lot of these movies. 
that has small planes on them. You never know what they could be doing in Alaska. It is huge. There's a lot of mountainous areas. There's a lot of free space. There's a lot of just land. Again, let me stress it out again. Two and a half times the size of Texas. Guaranteed. And look how far you know, north and away of the major block of US it is from. It's basically part of Canada. But we have that land. And you also think about it. Russia is like 17 minutes away from Alaska. We see Russia as the other side of the world. If you're at a certain part of Alaska, you're looking at maybe a 17 minute walk to Russia or a five minute boat ride to Russia. Give you the perspectives of how the world looks like. We'll think about it like that. The following video was published to TikTok in March of 2022 by a okay. user named Mr. Fender 76. Two years ago. In the footage, we see the uploader wander around through a forest during the middle of the night. When Why? He's Why do you people do that? Darkness. Why do you do that? He starts to talk to the camera and demonstrates just how bright his brand new flashlight is and calls it amazing, implying that he is about to go explore the forest even deeper. A moment Brother. later, he picks his camera back up off the ground, but at this point, things have already gotten terrifying. Take a close look. Oh, I see something moving. How bright that is. This is amazing. Yeah, so these. If you missed it, I don't blame I you. I saw it. It was a right in the middle. Arm can be seen wrapped around a tree on the right hand side of the screen farther back, but it pulls away as soon as the lights turn on. Do you see it now? Yes, I've been saw it. Throw a lacquer, lacquer Understandably, nade, this video has creeped out many who have seen it, and it seems as if nobody can come up with a concrete explanation as to what this could have been. The arm appears to be long and lanky, causing some to speculate that this could belong to that of a humanoid creature, which definitely Skinwalker. seems likely. However, people it is also mid. possible that this was just a hoax. Thinks it. Whatever the case True. may be, there's no denying that this would be one of the last things you would want to see in the forest late at night. Very true. Bath grenade. Rocket launcher bazooka. A YouTuber by the name of Red Wolf Rave uploaded Red Wolf. a video back in 2015 where he and his son go for a nature walk through their local forest, simply trying to enjoy their day and take in the fresh air around them. About I, 30 seconds I want to live in an environment video, like that. Rafe is seen having fun stumping on a chunk of ice while the dad proceeds to take in his surroundings and pan the camera around the woods. It's okay. at this moment where the dad's tone of voice changes from happy and playful to worried and freaked out. Okay. He thinks he sees something strange off in the distance and proceeds to tell Rafe to get behind him for safety. Take a look at the chilling footage that was captured from this point onward. W dad. Come on, man, let's do a nature walk. Moments like that. Woohoo! Or the kid is gonna remember. Let's do a nature walk. Come on, let's go. I still blink. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Shh. What is that? Shh. What is that? I see a little bit of movement. Hey, get over here. Get over here, Rafe. What is that? I see movement. Yeah, I heard that little. What, what is it? You hear that? Are you kidding me? All right, let's go. 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 What is it? Is it following us? Stay right there. They're breathing. Ha, ha, ha. Go, 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 go. At first, it sounds as if a dog hmm. is growling menacingly off in the distance. But at the end of the clip, when the figure in question makes an appearance, it looks a little different from that of a dog, begging the question, what exactly is this creature? 
was it just a fun little hoax that Rave created with his dad and some other person in the costume? Or is some True. unknown creature lurking in these woods? There's a lot of bad actors. You can take that both ways. As in bad actors you hire to do your videos or just, just bad people in this world where they are homeless or they're, you know, crackies and they antagonize people. For no reason because they're bored. This is in the middle of the woods. There could be a lot of people and there has been so many images of like our railway system. It's literally a double-sided mirror because you see a lot of disappearance you know, kids being kidnapped, adults being kidnapped, women being kidnapped and never found again. But then if you look at the highest kidnap rates or the ones that has the highest blips of kidnappings, they're also the same areas that has the most, you know, underground railway systems or caves you're in the woods there's a chance you might be close to nearby cave systems or a underground railroad that's no longer in use or the minecart areas or yeah mines so you have people who live in there people who are crazy people who are not really part of civilization anymore so when you do nature walk uh you got to make sure you're strapped and you should know what i mean by strapped Sometimes creepy videos that are long can pack quite a punch because you get to experience the horror for a prolonged period of time like my with dad. the uploader. But also, occasionally shorter videos that are straight to the point can pack an even bigger punch and give you the chills. Like my this dad. video uploaded to YouTube by Snake Lavery in July of 2019 is only 10 okay. seconds in length, but it's sure to leave you feeling uncomfortable. Five years Snake ago? seems to be at some sort of parking lot in the middle of the Snake? night when he spots something not too far away from him that chills him to the bone. Wanting to capture Bad a camera, bone. he pulled out his cell phone and documented his findings. The person just hanging out. What could this figure possibly be, and what does it want? It's built like a bird. Snake himself believes that this could be a skinwalker, which certainly wouldn't be too far-fetched, considering its tall, lanky appearance. But of course, that is entirely up to interpretation. Gun. Sadly, Snake did not provide any context in the description of the video, God damn making it. the clip that much more mysterious. You gotta call Colonel. He has uploaded since this video publishing date, Confirming that he was okay and nothing of harm happened to him that night. Or Otacon. But it doesn't make his findings any less frightening. It's a Metal Gear. The grid! Over on TikTok, a woman named Tasha D posted a video explaining that every single morning, a couple of cooking books are scattered around her floor, which okay. always leaves her confused because she obviously didn't leave them there. She then says that she plans to set up a camera in the kitchen overnight to potentially catch whatever is causing these books to fall to the ground every night. She says it may just be a rodent, but wants to film just to double check. As you can probably expect, it's not rodents. At first, the video seems to be quite normal okay. as we watch overnight footage from Tasha's kitchen, but at 1am, Something truly freaky happens that confirms that Tasha's fears are not unfounded. Take a look. What happened, Tasha? Turn my computer on around 11 p.m. Oh, using your laptop to record. Got the 1 a.m. Oh. At 3 a.m. As if they were pushed. Sure enough, just as Tasha said, the books fell over as depicted in the video. And what's equally interesting is that two hours later at 3 a.m., these books slide themselves to the floor. So what could possibly be causing this to happen? It seems as if we may never know the answer for certain. You're only seeing one direction. I'm not talking about Zane and the rest of the people. There's a lot of things to that could explain this situation. 
I'm just keep it at that. Another video on the cursed video subreddit. This one was uploaded two months ago and was filmed in what appears to be some sort of bizarre basement-like area as the videographer is shrouded in complete and utter darkness. Shroud? If that wasn't creepy enough, the area that he's standing in certainly is. Everything appears to have seen significantly better days. As he pans the camera around and himself, seems like it's he an old suddenly place. notices something that absolutely petrifies him. Yeah, there's definitely a bound in building. Oh, it's a girl. Ah! Oh! Guys, go out that zoom! What the f Juwan is this? The grudge? <gasps> what the a hell? A mysterious ghostly woman appears out of nowhere, far down the other side of the room. Why is it a woman? This man I know has long hair. Panic before he can then only stand complete shock and what awe. What the hell? Then, just seconds later, this bizarre entity can be seen levitating upward and passing right through the ceiling, which only causes the videographer to be even more terrified, letting out a guttural scream of sheer horror. As with almost every video that is uploaded to this subreddit, the origins of this piece of footage are left unknown. The only thing we have to judge it by is just the footage itself, no context or any other additional information. Okay. So what do you think happened here? Is this actual footage of a ghostly woman levitating and flying through a ceiling? Is this just an excellent case of brilliant visual effects? Let me know in the CGI. comments. But entertaining. Nonetheless, is this real? Fucking hell, blow it up, the building, everything about it, and earth. If it's not real, I mean, it's detailed. You can see like the little hairs right here. One part is longer than the other side. And she just transcends up. She just ascends. It's a cool video. If I were to see this in real life, um, Seppuku, Kamikaze, Harikari, every type of way of just, you know, um, cosplaying as a chandelier, pretending I'm a piñata, all aspects, all element, I'll do it. But a good video it's really good just up that's insane another video from the aforementioned ghost subreddit this one comes to us from the user nbucky99 who goes on to say that in this uh -oh. particular video Bucky two from friends and Captain I America. visit the mausoleum museum in Summers, Connecticut uh, when Connecticut. we approach the fence and that's begin speaking there is a scuffle me. from I'm in inside Jersey. Let's have a look and see what this user is describing. The friends approach a metal gate and begin to ask the potential spirits in the area if they can show themselves and ask if anybody in there would like to say something. It is right then and there in which something incredibly chilling happens to the Reddit user and his group of friends. Mm. Take a look. All right. So we're at Bikini Mausoleum. Are you covering your ass? Is anybody here? Hello? Would anyone like to say something? Do you okay? Holy shit! Dude, that was insane! Oh my god, that's not real, dude. Okay, dude, they have flight. Would anyone like to say something? Do you okay? Holy shit! Oh my God. I stepped up to them. It is entirely possible that some other person was in the museum that night and was trying True. to mess with N Bucky 99 and his True. friends. True. But it is more than likely not the case. What would be the odds also of another True. person at the exact same building at the exact same time at night? They are probably fairly low. And if that is what happened, it would be a big coincidence. So it begs the question, what was making that strange scuffling noise coming from behind that gate? Is it a ghost of an angry spirit seeking out revenge or trying to prey on its next victim? Is it simply another explorer trying to scare anybody else? Or is it all just a hoax? I'll let you decide. Alright, that's the last story of today's video. 
There's so many intricate ways to explain this and trying to sho uh, shove it. Shove it. Solve it. I shove it. Only one person's recording. One. What makes it more believable? If it seemed like there was three people there. Why aren't three people recording? They started dashing. Maybe the third person came from the side and just dragged their feet to make it sound like something's approaching behind them. Because to me in the audio, it sounded like it came from behind them. I'm not too sure if this has like the 3D audio. Uh, this seems to be like an iPhone. So I think it has 3D hearing or 360 hearing or 360 mic. The sound of the stepping kind of sounded like it came from my right headphones. But yeah, it is my right. Just making sure because the wire is on my left. But to you guys, I think I'm on my. I'm. I just I just lost myself. So it could be a friend that just dragged their feet behind them to make that noise, and they just just took off. And then oh look, a scary video. That's my explanation. For the sixty-six videos, but I'll let me watch today. There are actually a few decent ones in there. So I'm actually glad I actually picked on this video. We're a third into the video. We got to watch 44 more videos. Next time, I actually might do something special. Let's see how it works. Let's see if it could work. You guys will enjoy it. With that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next part. This is a six part series. This is 66 videos, 11 per video. Next one will be number 44 to 34. The next video will be 33 to 23. Next video will be 22 to 12. And last one be 11 to 1. Hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far. And I'm out. Love your faces. Peace.